Hello there, I'm Tom Smart from Smart Hills, and welcome to video number seven in our how to series how to make an RJ45 connector um, for a fat Cat5 cable or a data patch lead. Um, so let's begin. So, to do this, you're going to need a bit of, bit of data cable. This is a bit of Cat5 I've got here. Um, if you're using Cat6, you just make sure you're using Cat6 plugs as well, uh, they're, they're not compatible with each other. Um, one cutting tool and one crimping tool. This, is, this I've got here is a little two in one. Uh, the, the cutting tool is this bottom bit here, uh, and the crimping tool is this top bit here. And uh, a cup of coffee. If, if it's late like it is here, then you'll need a cup of coffee to get, get you going. <laughs> well, it might be the morning, you know, so you might need a coffee for that. Um, so I'm going to come to the, to the camera and just show you what, you, what we're doing. Uh, you won't be able to see it otherwise. <laughs> Uh, so they're, they're okay, we're going to start with our cutting tool. Um, you might have a standing knife or something like that. You need to just make a little circle around the outside of the, to the cable so you can pull off the black bit, uh, the PVC. So I'm just going to do that like that. Yeah, that's ready to come off. There. Um, and what we've got inside here, so when you cut, you've got to be really careful not to damage um, the outside or not to cut into the outside of the, um, the, 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 the pairs of cable here. Um, if, if you do, you need to do it again. Um, a, lot, a lot of Cat5 has uh, like a little plastic, a little string, in, in which case you're better off cutting it, pulling the string back and just starting a, starting a fresh, because you'll get a nice uh, fresh bit of virgin cable there. This, this Cat5 doesn't actually have that, so I can't do that. Um, Webro, if you're listening, you should put it in your cable. <laughs> anyway, so um, <clears throat> rather than waffling about that, I'm going to show you through this. Um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna show you to do uh, one one sort of um, pin assignment. Now, if you make this little patch lead, um, it doesn't really matter where the pairs go, um, as long as they're end to end. So pin one goes to pin one, pin two goes to pin two, uh, pin three goes, you know, so on, right way up to eight. Uh, but it's good practice to, to to do it to a standard. Um, so in which case you can't you do it this way. So. I'll get them all untangled and straightened out, and I'll be able to show you um, which way to do it. Now, the first time you do these, it's going to be really fiddly. You're probably going to mess it up a couple of times, but just stick with it um, because when you get it, you'll wonder what you found so difficult about it. Um, so that, that's a good way of straightening it, by the way. If you sort of just run your finger down like that, if you've got a bit of cheap Cat Five, uh, that they might not straighten very well, um, but you need to get them straight to get them in the plug. So. So what we have here, something from left to right, is the orange pair, then we have the, the white and green, then the solid blue, then the white and blue, then the solid green, you've done it wrong there, uh, <laughs> then the white and brown, then the brown. So you've got one pair, two pair, middle pair, and then you've got a pair that goes around the middle pair. Um, in, in the description of this video I'm just going to put... Um, what this standard is and I'll do a link to something so you know you haven't got to remember this because that would be quite difficult so uh, just click that link beneath and it will show you how to how to put these pins out um, anyway so you get them all lined up next to each other like so um, now with your cutting tool uh, we're going to put them in there and we don't need to cut a lot only about a centimetre and a half maximum uh, mine have just got twisted there you sort of see about, what I mean, about these being fiddly Put them back in there again. Take two. I'll have to cut that bit out. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to cut a nice straight cut. So when we got the the the, um, the bishop, I'm, at the minute I'm just sort of holding it with it. That's, that's quite a good thing to do. And before we cut, I just give it a squeeze, and they're all cut. Actually, I didn't cut my last one. But there you go. So if you look, they're all they're all cut nice and straight. Uh, that means when you get them in the when you go to poke it into the plug, it will slide in there nicely. If you don't get them straight, it can be a bit of a nuisance. Uh, and then we're going to need the, uh, the, the plug, uh, which I've actually not got ready. So if you watch this video, please just rewind uh, and pretend I had <laughs> one of these things, uh, an RJ45 connector. Um, that's, that's what we're trying to make. Uh, that, so that basically, we're going to insert that in there now. So when we're poking it in, you start poking it in gently, and as you're going in, just pause and just make sure they're going into the right, the right cable assignments because there's no point shoving it in there just having to pull it back out again. So after, I can see now when I when I do push it in, it's going to go in the right ones. Uh, so we're going to just sort of give it a gentle nudge as it goes in. Get, get to the other end, give it a nice little shove. So 
that's perfect. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. Is that camera going to focus? It's coming in, it's coming in, it's coming in. You, you probably just about make out there's some, the ends of the cable reach right to the end. And that's important, if, if, when it comes to crimping, if they're not getting at the end and you crimp it, you're going to miss it and it's not going to work. So, um, so we're going to get our crimping tool, get the white way around, poke in the RJ45 and give it a cr nice crimp and pull back out. So when that's done, we're just going to have a little, get it back out again. So when it's done, we're just going to have a little visual inspection, make sure the pins have gone down, none of them have snapped or bent uh, and that all, all looks okay. Um, and that's it, one RJ45 connector. Now that can go into your, in, straight to your router into, or into, a, into an RJ45 socket. So that was it, video number seven in our how to guide, how to make an RJ45 connector. Uh, now if this video has been of use to, please do get a thumbs up or give it a like wherever you're watching this. Please do put a comment below. If you have any more questions, please get them in there. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this and more of me, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm about to get someone else to do it, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel because uh, there's going to be lots more stuff like this that will help you on there. Um, so, bye for now.